Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach. I follow Weight Watchers and I count calories and macros. Happy Friday. It is Friday, so it's weigh-in day, WW Workshop topic day. We're going to chat about my week, and I'm going to share with you what my goals are moving into the next week. So if you're excited, give this video a big, huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notifications are turned on because we do a weigh-in every Friday, and I upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. I do offer personalized macros and calories. This is how I lost 90 pounds in 2022, and I'm just about at 140 pounds lost total. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability, and if you would like to chat with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite healthy things in my Facebook group, it's free. We'd love to have you are all down in that description box. So let's chat about my week, my weigh-in, and the WW workshop topic. Friday, friends. I hope you had an incredible, amazing, fantastic week. I actually had a much better week this week than I did last week. If you follow me, you know that not this last Saturday, but the Saturday before, so March 25th, we lost our beautiful lab, Diesel. He, we actually had to allow him to cross the Rainbow Bridge due to some ongoing medical issues that we just weren't able to resolve, and just his quality of life was diminishing kind of rapidly, so we had to make that really hard decision, and it was the hardest decision that we've ever had to make. Boy, I felt guilty for a few days after. Just this overwhelming sense of guilt. That has since passed and I'm recognizing and realizing that what we did for him was the last act of kindness that we could have given him considering the situation, but we miss him. We miss him every single day. We think about him every day. We talk about him every day. I'm actually wearing my necklace that I had made from Walmart photo with Diesel's picture on it. Back here, right there, is a photo of Diesel. He will forever be in the background of my videos. He used to lay right there on the dog bed, and now we have a photo of him in the background so you can see his beautiful face every single day. So I can see his beautiful face every single day. And I'm putting together a shadow box. I'll be sharing all of that in an upcoming video with you. But this week has definitely been easier than last week. Not easy, but a little bit easier. And like I said, we still miss him and we talk about him and think about him every day. I also was on my cycle this week. So that was another thing that made this week a little bit more challenging. However, I got in all of my workouts, which I'm super proud of myself. I really focused on my food this week, just knowing that last week I had a few days where I didn't reach my calories. Over this last weekend, I had a couple higher calorie days. So I really just focused on getting back to normal, eating my protein, choosing the right foods, eating all my calories every single day. And I felt much better doing that, kind of back to normal, like I said. Due to all of the stress, due to just everything that was going on and really not eating all my calories a couple of days, post losing diesel. I had a, over a pound loss last week. And like I said in that video, I wasn't expecting that to stay off. So we'll see what happens with that loss. But before we talk about my way in, let's chat about this week's workshop topic. And that is how to make healthy eating more exciting. This is really important because when we think healthy eating, we don't think exciting. We don't think good foods like cakes and cookies and chips. We think boring foods like fruits and vegetables. But there are some tips and tricks and things we can do to eat healthy and make it exciting. Dinners at your favorite restaurant, weekend brunches with your friends and family. This is what's exciting when it comes to food. But we can bring this excitement to some nutritious go-tos. So here's some things that we can try. Number one, make your meal sound delicious. Call it something you'd order from a restaurant. It's not just salad. It's crisp spring veggies tossed with juicy chicken, egg crumbles, and a bright lemony vinaigrette. Number two, set the table, set the scene. Break out your nice dishes, cloth napkins, background music. Plate your meal as if you were going 
to photograph it. Number three, savor the experience. Sit and eat slowly and mindfully, focusing on your food and company, not TV or TikTok. Not every meal has to be a vibe, but if you want to prepare healthy meals at home, not spend the money to go out, control the ingredients, make it a vibe every so often. Maybe it's one or two meals per week that you have with your family that give you all of the restaurant feels. Try serving your favorite low point tacos with fun margarita glasses or fiesta styled napkins. Create a candlelit date night once a week with your partner and even play music and create an ambiance that makes it feel a little bit more special. The bottom line is your routine and go-to foods, this is what keeps you on track. These are the foods that we reach for, but we can make these foods a little bit more exciting. How you serve them, how you eat them, what you call them, all of these things can make these kind of mundane go-to foods a lot more exciting, which makes eating a healthy lifestyle more exciting. It keeps you inspired as well on your weight loss journey. Speaking of inspiration, let's talk about three fast facts from Weight Watchers. Number one, when menus use sensory and descriptive words, people report enjoying foods more after eating them. Number two, when food sits within our reach, we tend to eat more of it than if we have to get up and grab it. And tip number three, being more present while eating can increase our enjoyment of a meal. So make your go-to, what if you want to call them mundane, boring meals, make them a little bit more exciting with all of these tips and tricks from Weight Watchers. I think this is really important because we can get into a food rut and then we want to go out for dinner. We want to pick up fast food. We want to eat different unhealthy foods because we're just sick of the ones that we're eating. But by making some small changes and just changing the way it's presented, what it's called, it can really make those mundane foods much more exciting. And of course, we're eating healthier foods that lead to weight loss, not weight gain. So I really like this topic and I think it's important to take those boring foods and make them a little bit less boring. I always try to change up the foods that I'm eating. I'm not someone that wants to eat the same foods all the time. Now there are certain things I love like my cottage cheese. I could eat that every day and never get tired of it. But I like to change up other pieces of my meals to keep it more exciting because really truly that's what keeps me on track. That's actually what I did this last week is I discovered a new sandwich that I really love. I actually shared that in Wednesday's What I Eat In A Day. So I'll link that video down below for you. I've been experimenting with my Ninja Creamy. I've been making different types of protein pudding. I've been taking my regular foods and just changing them up a little bit to make them a little bit more exciting. And this definitely works to keep your weight loss going. Speaking of weight loss and weight loss going, let's talk about this week's weigh-in. So like I said, last week I lost well over a pound and I'm at this stage in my journey where I don't really have any weight to lose. So that was really surprising to see my weight drop down. And like I said, I mentioned it's probably not going to stay there. And when I stepped on the scale, I was right. My weight did not stay at the lowest number that it was last week. I'm actually up 0.6 from last week. However, I'm still at my lowest weight thus far on my weight loss journey. When we go back to eating normal, our weight's going to fluctuate. I knew that that was going to happen. I'm not mad about it. I would rather make sure that I'm eating my calories eating my protein, fueling my body. I'm not worried about 0.6 at all. And like I said, I'm still at my lowest weight thus far on my journey, which is great because I'm just over a month out from my plastic surgery. I'm going to continue on my weight loss journey, leaning up, leaning down, getting stronger and healthier and ready for plastic surgery. So I feel really good about my weigh in this week. This is a weight I'm happy at. I feel really good. I feel lean. I feel toned. I feel healthy. I'm feeling really, really good, much better than I have the last week. So now I wanna hear from you guys. How was your week? How was the scale? Did you gain, did you lose? Let me know your thoughts on making our same foods a little bit more exciting. And if you have any tips and tricks on how you do this, definitely let us know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed today's weigh-in, workshop topic, and recap, give this video a huge thumbs up. Again, make sure you're subscribed and your bell's on because I do a weigh-in every Friday and five videos every single week. Check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And of course, as always, we'd love to have you join our Facebook group. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Friday, friends. I love you guys, and I'll see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.